Hi, this is Massimo Morelli from uh, Trading for, for Purpose.it and today I would like to examine in detail uh, the situation that is developed in, in the soybean contract. Uh, well, uh, let's start from, from the pure chart. Uh, we can see uh, soybeans rallied uh, with, with power, with great power. Uh, since uh, more or less the end of February and uh, it reached a resistance level uh, during these days. Um, the rally has been uh, uh, almost vertical and uh, as, we, as we know vertical rallies are always dangerous. But more than that, <clears throat> as we can see uh, you can see in this study here, we have uh, uh, buying and selling pressure, volume buying and selling pressure. And we can see that during the last week, the, the buying pressure has decreased a lot. And this uh, usually happens uh, at the end, uh, at, at, at top level, at top level. Uh, we, can, we can see the same, the same story around here. Hmm? Uh, buying climax and then buying pressure decreasing and, and then okay the price would fall. Mm, it seems that we are reaching a, a similar situation and but okay we have many 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 more hints that probably <coughs> the Serbian rally will, uh, will stop here. Um, one of these, of course, is the um, seasonality trend. We can see that <clears throat> during uh, usually uh, a yearly major top level is reached by soybean during uh, the month of May. Uh, here we are now. Uh, it might be uh, we have a retest. Okay, the price uh, could fall a little bit, then retest, and then down. So also uh, seasonality uh, tells us that maybe um, Sabine's rally is going to an end. Um, but we have more, as always. Uh, one interesting story is the story <coughs> narrated by the, the COT, the Commitment of Traders. Uh, as we can see, the commercials, uh, during the last weeks, the commercials uh, started to sell violently this contract. The price, as usual, the price uh, has risen and, and commercials have sold this contract. Uh, we can see the same story here uh, in... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this one was the um, legacy cut. Mm? This one is the new version, and uh, we noticed that the commercials have reached uh, an extreme selling level that usually marks a top. The same is true for the fans. The fans have reached uh, a buying extreme level that, that usually marks tops. And I also would like to notice that <clears throat> since some, since the last weeks, from the last weeks, the the swap dealers <clears throat> started to sell this contract as well. So, uh, okay, one one more one more interesting thing. One more interesting thing is the forward curve. Okay, in the long term, mm -hmm, we are in backwardation, but if we look at the two at the uh, July and August contract, soybeans is still in contango. Uh, this could mean that uh, the feast is over or almost over. So coming to an end, to an end. Uh, definitely, um, I I wouldn't go long here in soybeans. Uh, 
there are two ways. Um, I, I don't know. I, I could I could short it here, or I could wait for a first descent, then a retest, uh, following the, the seasonal trend, uh, and then uh, when at the end of the retest, uh, I could short it. Uh, as you know, this is not a trade solicitation, it's only for didactical purposes, blah blah blah, and so on. Okay, uh, this is only my humble opinion. Have a nice day. Ciao, ciao.